Hello everybody, my name is Matthew Adama aka Bizmatics and I want to welcome you to this platform again, um, Bizmatics uh, official. Uh, today's tutorial we're going to be doing introduction to bass guitar based on a popular request. So uh, this is a five string bass, these are the strings and there are five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a five string bass. There are four string bass, six string bass, and we're about the tuning pegs. This is used to tune the bass to the standard. This controls this and this control that, like that. And then we have the bridge. This is the bridge that holds the string from one end to the other. Here is called the neck, the neck of the bass. And this stuff here that holds the strings here is called the knot, N-U-T, knot. Then where the strings are wrapped, this is called the string tree, the string tree. Then we have the fret. These are the frets. The fret is what determines the change of tone and the change of, of notes in bass when you're playing. That is why what you press here is not the same as what is going to sound here. So these are the frets. Then we have the fretboard. This is the fretboard. This is the fretboard. Then this is called position marker. This dot you are seeing. In some bass guitars, it is not a dot. Maybe something like a different design. Well, they are called position markers. Then when you come here, you see double. This is called octave marker. Octave marker. Because whatever you have on the open, is what you have here this is the octave direct octave of it so if the open string of this is b so here is automatically b if here is e we also have e here here is a you also have a here open of here is d here will be d here will be g open then g as well so like that Whatever you have on the open is what you have here. So it's exactly the same note. So it's called octave marker. That's why it's different. So it's usually after the first 11 frets. It is the 12th fret. If you count from the first one, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you can see the 12th one is the octave of whatever open string you have on that line i hope you understand and here we have the pickup this is what picks the sound we have bass pickup and the treble pickup then here we have the knobs volume it depends on the configuration of the bass so it determines what it stand for so it does a lot of function the tone the, the pickup switch, the um, treble, and all of that brightness, bass. This thing here is called end pin, end pin. Then this other one is called strap pin. Here is for your jack. This is an electric bass guitar, so you must use a jack cable the jack plug so here is the jack input so this is basically the introduction to the parts of bass guitar as you can see yeah and i want to say something i could you know talk really fast and give you guys terminologies that would be really confusing but i want to take it bit by bit 
I want to take it really slow for uh, beginners to catch up. I don't want to start mentioning some terminologies that I've not introduced you guys to. So I'm going to take it really slow and just follow me as we go on. For five string bass, this string is a B string for an open string. This is B, this is E, this is A, this is D, this is G. So if you press it on any other instrument, you are getting the same note, the same value. B, E, A, D, G for an open string. And then we're going to be talking about whole tone and half tone. A whole tone is any two steps movement away from your present position, either higher or lower. For example, if I'm here and I take two steps, like one, two, this is a whole tone or a full tone or a full step. A semitone is any one step movement away from your present position, either higher or lower. So if I'm here, and I move one. That is a semitone movement. From here, and I move one. That's a semitone movement. Here, one semitone movement. Here, semitone movement. Open semitone movement. So if I'm here and I come here, it's a semitone movement. Come forward higher. Semitone movement. Semitone movement. Semitone movement. Semitone movement. So talking about whole tone and half tone. When you move from here to here, you jump one fret in between, is a whole tone. Still a whole tone. But when you play the, the fret right after this, it's called a half tone or semitone. Half tone or semitone. And when you put one in between and jump to the other, it's called a full tone. Do you get that? Full tone. Like that, like that. So full tone again from here. can see I'm jumping one in between so that's a whole tone full tone but when I talk about um, half step or semitone is from here to here 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 that's semitone half step to make so it, I, want, I want to give you guys a simple acronym that can help you remember these keys. I told you here is B E A D G, right? B E A D G on open string. So if you want to memorize it, B E A D G, you can you can say boy eddie eight dynamite goodbye do you get that boy eddie eight dynamite goodbye that is b e a d g is that clear oh before i go i want you guys to subscribe to this channel and then turn on your notification if you are on my whatsapp page i want you to say yay let me know you are here and then um next class we're going to be talking about notes of bass guitar thank you guys i love you all